we have two screens that act as two primary functions. The first is they act as thermometers and they're telling you the temperature of something. The one on the left is telling you the temperature of the heaters in the bowl. So in this case, the temperature is currently 105 degrees, acting like a thermometer. If we press the plus or minus button, the screen begins to act as a thermostat. So currently the machine is set to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If we want to change that, again, we press the plus or minus button until we reach the desired temperature. In this case, 124 degrees. We release and it goes back to acting as a thermometer. The indicator on the right, again, acts as a thermometer and a thermostat. This is our chocolate temperature. It's only taking the temperature of the chocolate when chocolate is flowing through the machine because that thermometer sits about right here. Okay, at that point, it's regulating the cooling temperatures of the machine or our temper point. Again, we're currently it's at 104 degrees. By pressing the plus or minus button, I see what it's set to. In this case, 87 degrees, which is the temperature of the chocolate that we're gonna to use today. The next two buttons operate our accessories. And I'll show you how to get to those in a moment. The one on the right operates the heating rod in the table. The one on the left will operate the vibration or movement. In semi iconography, wavy lines always mean heat, and an arrow with a line always means movement. They mean exactly the same thing here. The next button is our meter depositing button. This button only works when we have chocolate flowing. So in this case, chocolate would be flowing, it will operate. And we'll explain that later. The last button is a reset button. This button tells the machine if something goes wrong that everything's okay, or it can um, allow you to move forward in the process. Our four buttons in the center are our primary operation buttons. The first button, as we've indicated before, turns the machine on and off, and it turns the heaters in the bowl on. Again, it's wavy lines indicating heat. The next button, an arrow with a line, operates the auger in the bowl. The next button that looks like chocolate flowing turns the screw on in the machine and causes chocolate to flow. We don't have chocolate in the machine right now, so that will not work. The last button with a snowflake controls the temper settings or the refrigeration system, and that turns on. These buttons cannot be turned on and off out of order. They have to be turned on from left to right and then back off from right to left. 